Hey everybody, it's TW Jordo. Got a M799CA here in Photom Tablet that I am going to show you how to take apart and reassemble without damaging the tablet, without having to replace the screen or screws or any parts like that. I'll show you uh, how to relocate the Wi Fi card and uh, also how to remove the internal SD card on these tablets. The tools that you'll need. Razor knife, precision screwdriver, like uh, you get them in an eyeglass kit or uh, you can go to your local hardware store and get one. It's a little smaller than a number one Phillips. Okay, I've already started on this tablet and I've got three of the corners peeled up and already loosened the screws on them. So let me show you here how to do this. You can take your razor knife right into the corner, prying down until you get about a half an inch away from the corner, then just pry up. There you can see the screw. When I remove the knife, the tablet wants to go back to its natural state where it was originally glued. I can take my finger and ease it back to access that screw. Insert my screwdriver. And that screw is loose. Now I take and just pinch that corner back. I do not remove the screw all the way for risk of losing the screw. This one I've already done. Just double checking to make sure I've got them all done. This one's done. You can actually see on this one how the adhesive is holding the screw in place. So I just push that back in there. This one here and make sure it's out and then we will start taking it apart. These screws are very small. There's not much to them. Okay, you want to start this here you have the menu and you have the volume buttons this side of the tablet here with the menu and volume buttons you want to start on it start right here in the middle section you grab your razor knife and you want to go right in between the screen you can see here Once you get that inserted like that, just a simple pop. And my volume button has just fell, which is no problem. It's not glued or anything like that. Now this is pretty important that you make sure that the end here that your SD card slot and your charger plugs into. Whenever you go to the next step, keep it pointed down. Keep it down. You can hear my volume button just roll to the bottom. Now I start here working up towards the menu. That corner. Keep working around the top. Keeping the tablet vertical. Spread them apart. Then just lift away. Okay, when we have it apart, you can see right here is my Wi-Fi card. There is a adhesive tape on the back of it from the factory. Peel it away. It's taped to the battery also there. You can see there is the black adhesive. 
it's actually a foam it's probably a eighth of an inch thick on this tip of the Wi-Fi card you can see the loop there made by the uh, copper that's poured into it that is the antenna now I want to reposition this card just slightly over towards the edge and push it down back here at the wire where the wires are connected pushing it down there actually elevates the antenna off of the board just be sure that you have enough clearance here to put the tablet back together without hitting the Wi-Fi card and that is how you can move your Wi-Fi for better signal and now to the SD card here is the internal SD card this internal SD was not glued or did not have any type of adhesive on it the way to remove I slightly wiggle it just a little bit pulling up voila this is a SanDisk micro SD 4 gig actually I better put the 4 gig back in there <laughs> I've done this so many times there's the SanDisk 4 gig that's supposed to be in the internal. <laughs> Reinstallation. Line it up ever so gently. Once you get it lined up, push it down, snaps in there, that is how you put it back in. Now for reassembly. Reassembly is just like disassembly. Be sure that you do not have a SD card in your SD card slot. If you have a SD card in here it actually protrudes a little bit and whenever you go to put it back together it could possibly break or break something the, the mount that holds it or you could break your case so keeping this down the same as we disassembled we're going to reassemble locate your plastic back make sure you have the slots down holding vertical just come here and you marry the two together in a pinch sliding back and pinch then I come if you look on this side my volume button is not there I have my volume button right here in my hand I'm going to get to that in a minute Let's keep this just slightly pulled apart. I've got my finger in there, holding it apart. Now I'm going to continue to work down this opposite side, snapping it together. And I still have my finger in this corner because my volume button fell out. If your volume button does not fall out, you don't have to worry about doing it like this. You can just snap it together, but be sure to keep those down and slide that into the slot. Now I've got it pried apart there with my finger holding it. I will hold that down now so that whenever I insert the volume button into here, gravity will keep it in place until I snap the rest of the tablet together. see the volume buttons in place now I just grab it right here pinch pinching and there 
there she snapped together. Okay. That is how you disassemble and reassemble. Now you just slightly pull the corners back. See the screw there? Take your precision screwdriver, run your screws in. If you want to, you can wait before you run your screws in. Do a simple power test. Android underscore flashing, that's a good sign. As long as you see action on these screens, and that is good, but if you have the Android underscore and the underscore is not flashing, then something is wrong. Or if this Android logo is not flashing like you see in this picture, then something is wrong. And there we have it. We have a functional tablet. Thanks for watching. I hope I helped you out. Maybe save you a dollar. If you do it that way, you don't have to replace anything. So, uh, keep watching. Check us out over at technoforum.net. And uh, if we can help you, we'll try.